Okay, today I have a very important video for you, okay? Now, I want to make a video on why leftists and left-wingers should be pro-male. They should be pro-man's rights, okay? And they should be anti-feminist, okay? And I really mean this very seriously because a lot of leftists, they're wondering, hmm, why, why are men leaning to the right or why, why they are flocking to the right, right? And why, why they are sort of abandoning the left or something, right? And the reason for that is because the left has failed men, clearly, overwhelmingly. The left has been hijacked by feminism, by, by man hatred, okay? And that is the problem. That is a huge problem. Okay, if the left continues to ignore man's issues, if the left continues to ignore systemic bias, systemic misandry, okay, against men, the left is going to lose to the right, okay? You need to be pro-man's rights as a leftist. You need to be anti-feminist as a leftist. This is not, this is not optional, Right? This is required. This is a requirement. 100%. Now, Hakim, the Marxist-Leninist YouTuber Hakim, he made this interesting video here about um, how the right lies about black crime statistics, okay? And how basically um, there's systemic anti-black racism within the criminal justice system, which is true, right? This video here very well researched okay uh you know very interesting okay v v very very good stuff right however however like literally all that he said in this video can be applied to men right and the bias and the discrimination against men within the criminal justice system okay i, I was watching this video and i was like why, why don't you mention men? Why don't you mention misandry within the criminal justice system, right? He mentioned, I mean, he didn't really mention it, but he said at one point in the video, black people, but in particular black men, are sort of uh, demonized by the media or something, right? Which was like the closest thing he said in, in that direction of uh, pointing out anti-male bias, right? But not really, like more indirectly right and i think he said in like other videos something uh that there is such a thing as a patriarchy or something like he obviously has like many marxists has a feminist bias okay and this is something that needs to be rejected by the left it needs to be rejected 100 percent. okay feminism has put many black men in jail many okay feminism needs to be rejected okay and all these things like for example he points out how uh, black people are seen as inherently dangerous because of the bias within the criminal justice system this is exactly how feminists have portrayed men as inherently dangerous right and let me just go through the data to show you why there's anti-male bias uh, within the criminal justice system, okay? But let me first play you uh, one part of this video, right, that needs to be emphasized. Police in both schools and communities creates an environment where black children are never free from the watchful eye of the state or its institutionalized violence. Crime statistics in the United States do not reflect who commits the most crimes, but rather who is most heavily policed and arrested. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, right? So all these feminists who point out crime statistics and say, look, oh, uh, men commit the vast majority of crimes or some bullshit, right? Yeah, this quote that you just said here, that crime statistics do not reflect who commits the most crimes, but who's most uh, heavily policed and arrested, this exactly applies to men. Exactly. Okay? And the anti-male bias even among the sources that I'm going to show you, is is very uh, underestimated, right? Because men are not seen as uh, as victims, 
right, by academia. So it doesn't really appear in the study as much, right? So, but yeah, let, let me just walk you through some data on that, okay? And again, if, if you're a subscriber of Hakim or if you're Hakim uh, himself, then please take this to heart, right? You need to recognize that men are a marginalized group that face substantial bias, right? On a institutionalized level, okay? You need to take this on board. You need to be pro-male. You need to be pro-man's rights. Literally all this stuff about institutionalized bias against black people that he mentioned in this video, it applies to men. It also applies to men. Okay, let, let me just show you some stuff, right? So sentencing disparities, right? So across all racial groups, women receive shorter sentences on average than, than males, okay? Across all analyses, female received sentences that were shorter on average than males. When examining all sentences imposed, females receive sentences almost 30% shorter than males. Females of all races were almost 40% more likely to receive a probation sentence than males. When examining only sentences of incarceration, females received lengths of incarceration 11.3% shorter than males. Okay, and also let's look at um, the risk of being killed by police force in the United States by race and gender. And what do we see in this graph here? What do we see in this graph, right? We see that it is a male problem, okay? Clearly, lifetime risk of being killed by police, the majority men across all racial groups, okay? Even white men, so this is a misandry problem. This has to be pointed out, right? Here more, more on sentencing, okay? Do you receive a lighter prison sentence because you are a woman? Our results indicate that women receive more lenient sentences even after controlling for circumstances such as the severity of the offense and past criminal history. Okay, here's more evidence. Racial, ethnic, and gender disparities in sentencing evidence from the U.S. federal courts. Blacks, males, and offenders with low levels of education and income receive substantially longer sentences. And keep in mind that women, especially in recent years, receive better education and have higher uh, education and stuff like that, right? So if they're saying offenders with low level of education, that's also, also mostly men, right? Here's another paper on sentencing disparities. This paper assesses g gender dis disparities in federal criminal cases. It finds large gender gaps favoring women throughout the sentence length distribution averaging over 60% conditional on arrest offense, criminal history and other pre-charge ob observables. Female arrestees are also significantly likelier to avoid charges and convictions entirely and twice as likely to avoid incarceration if convicted. Okay, so for the same crime, women are receiving light, lighter sentences, they're even likely to avoid charges entirely and avoid convictions, etc., which is why they're not appearing in these official statistics, right, that are then used by feminists in particular to demonize men. Here also another paper, sex differences in the likelihood of arrest. The probability of arrest for females was 28% lower for kidnapping 48% lower for forcible fondling, 9% lower for simple assault, and 27% lower for intimidation than for males. Okay. Overall, these findings suggest that the 
lower arrest rate for females is partly the result of leniency shown women by law enforcement personnel. So again, evidence that men are discriminated against. Clear evidence. Here is a meta-analysis. The effects of suspend characteristics on arrest. A meta-analysis. Males were 1.5 times more likely to be arrested. Right, so the, the, the anti-male bias is even greater than the anti-black bias here. As you can clearly see, black individuals were 1.4 times more likely to be arrested. Men were arrested 1.5 times more likely to be arrested. Okay. Another paper offenders who victimize females receive substantially longer sentences than offenders who victimized males right so if an offender victimized males that doesn't matter the victim gender if it is female and the offender gender is male then the sentence is longer right so again female victims more important than male victims and female offenders are also less likely to be reported than male offenders. This also has to be taken into account when we're talking about these crime statistics. Also, when we are talking about crime statistics, a lot of anti-male bias that we see has to do with domestic violence, right? Here is a very good special report on how Feminists have, over the ye years and decades, even with the help of the government and governmental institutions, have lied about the subject of uh, domestic violence victimization and perpetration rates, right? Which is roughly equal between men and women, right? And in some cases, it's even higher uh, for, for male victims and higher for female perpetrators, right? And this feminist bias is harming disproportionately African-American men. It is difficult to overstate the harmful effects of this sustained misinformation campaign done by feminists on the workings of our criminal system. Police, prosecutors, judges, social workers, psychologists, parenting evaluators, counselors, etc. have been indoctrinated that men commit 95% of all domestic violence. Again, this lie has been perpetuated by feminism. Okay, so you should be anti-feminist. It's that simple. And are more likely to abuse their children, according to the Washington State Attorney. In addition, male victims often are unable to get help as reflected in these disparities in the provision of victim services. Right, so legal assistance etc i'm not going to read all this right but you can see that female victims are, are uh, more help disproportionately more help than than male victims right in all kinds of areas okay you can read this yourself the gender profiling that arises from one-sided and false claims has been especially harmful to black men each year black men are more likely than than black women to be victims of domestic violence, sexual violence, or stalking committed by a partner. Okay, you can see the numbers. Again, there's all citations for this. Okay. And again, this has led to significant incarceration problems. Okay. Especially among black men. Here's also another critical point, which is child support. Okay which keeps men down. Okay, so child support keep men in debt, okay? Which makes them more likely to be imprisoned, right? And more like and being more likely to be imprisoned makes them less likely to find a job to pay off the child support, which is a vicious cycle that systematically affects men, in particular black men. Why is the left not against child support? Where's the leftist outrage? against child support. Here's another paper, is justice really blind? The male penalty effect, non-sentencing evaluators, police officers, counselors for defense, prosecutors and law students, even law students, 
evaluate and judge a male defendant more harshly than a female, right, when they are given uh, perpetrator pro profiles with photos of male versus female offenders in a mock trial, right? This is experimental evidence that there is bias against men. Here's also this important paper, the gender gap in sexual offender punishment, right? Because for, for years, feminists have uh, said that men are the vast majority of, of sex offenders and that basically female sex offenders are non-existent, right? Findings suggest that female sex offenders are treated more leniently than their matched male counterparts, even in the instances of more serious sex offenses and those involving minor victims. From the same paper, women contribute a non-trivial amount of sex offender perpetration and they engage in sex crimes of similar severity as men. Estimating precisely the prevalence of female sex offending is a challenge, however, for at least two reasons. First, scholars believe that female perpetrated sexual offending is underreported. Underreporting of female perpetrated sexual abuse may stem in part from societal perceptions of female sexual passivity or incapability of committing sexual harm. Second, a limited number of studies suggest that female sex offenders are more likely to be diverted away from official punishments and thus be omitted from official conviction and punishment statistics. And again, this is because of police bias, criminal justice bias against men and uh, police and criminal justice seeing women more favorably. Okay, here's this paper, Police Beliefs About Women Who Offend. Consistent differences were found between responses given by the sample as a whole to the male and the female versions of the scale. Women who offend appeared to be viewed as generally less deviant or fundamentally bad than men who offend as more similar to non-offenders and more trustworthy. The implication of this finding is that women are thought to offend for reasons other than a criminal nature. They are basically normal people who have temporarily deviated for some reason. So basically the implication is women are, when they are offending, they are seen as normal people who have been sort of victimized or whatever, or there's like some circumstantial evidence a circumstantial reason for why they did the crime but if a man offends right if a man commits a crime or is suspected of a crime he is seen as inherently evil basically as inherently criminal by nature right again this is exactly the type of perception that Har Hakim described right that is perpetuated by the uh, uh, biases in society and in the criminal justice system, right, against black people, right? Why is this analysis not applied to to men, right? And anti-male bias. Men are also the vast majority that are complaining about excessive police force, right? They're, they're the vast majority of victims when it comes to excessive police force, excessive police uh, brutality, right? They account for 73% of the complaints and 83% of the sustained complaints. Males are therefore overrepresented in making complaints and sustained complaints compared to the numbers in the general public. Then men are also vastly overrepresented in uh, the cases of the police stopping uh, a suspect, right, in, in trapping, for example, uh, in traffic, for example, right, traffic stop nationwide, male driver, almost 70%, okay? This bias against men in the criminal justice system is also reflected, of course, uh, when it comes to death penalty, right, vast majority uh, is against men okay vast majority 
almost 100% of prisoners who receive the death penalty are male. Again, here on domestic violence, male victims of domestic abuse are often uh, getting arrested themselves, right? And the media, because uh, Hakim mentioned the, the media bias against black people, there's also media bias against, against men, right? So male victims of female perpetrated intimate partner homicide tend to be blamed for their victimization. And represented as non-ideal and illegitimate victims in the news media. Okay. And when it comes to the criminal justice system and the legal system in general, not only are men more targeted and policed and discriminated against, but they are also less protected, actually. So around the world, we have gendered rape laws, for example, right? More than half of men cannot be legal victims of rape, okay? So they're like legally excluded from, from uh, legal justice because of gendered uh, uh, rape laws, right? Where basically the victims are only defined as, as female by nature, okay? So here are the countries where such laws exist, right? but also in, in England, for example, right? So you, you can re read this yourself, right? The Sexual Offense Act of 2003, for example, right? And again, feminists have contributed to that. For example, in India, feminists are protesting against gender-neutral laws, against gender-neutral rape laws, right? So feminists are perpetuating the system that discriminate against men, okay? This is what I'm talking about. And this is not the only case of this happening, by the way. Also, mass incarceration and, and prison labor, which was also mentioned in Hakim's video, again, the vast majority of the prison population around the world, not just in the United States, but around the world, is male. Over 90% of the prison population around the world is male. Male, okay? Regardless of, of ethnic background. This is a gendered issue. If you are on the left, you need to be pro-male. You need to be pro-man's rights. Period, okay? Th this is not debatable. This is not... Uh, something that you can sort of uh, ignore. This is not optional, right? And again, this anti-male bias is 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 basically mainstream, right? In England, a female politician has openly called for male-only curfews, right? Which enshrines this image of men being inherently dangerous, and so on and so forth, right? And also, uh, Hakim mentioned uh, bias in the education system against black children, which is true, right? But there's also bias in the education system against men. And I have done an hour-long video showing this. Okay, the evidence is overwhelming. All right. This also needs to be addressed. It is especially boys who are seen as the trouble makers in the classroom, even when that's not necessarily the case, they are downmarked for the same uh, work, right, that, that, that girls do, right, by, by, by teachers, especially female teachers, right, they're more likely to receive punishment, more likely to be called in, in the principal office, more likely to be kicked out of school, etc., right? Even corporal punishment in some states in the United States, where the vast majority of the victims of that are male. Okay? And if you're now thinking that, oh, uh, the vast majority of uh, uh, institutional biases against male is against men because they commit the vast majority of crime, again, let me repeat this quote uh, that Hakim said in his video, right? 
that these official statistics don't necessarily reflect who commits the most crime, but who are more policed and stuff like that, right? Due to bias, right? And I have done many videos showcasing like in this video, for example, women avoid jail compilation, right? Where I showed like 50 cases that, that illustrate that women are just as likely to, to be violent and, and stuff like that and commit all kinds of crimes, okay? So again, this bias needs to be addressed by the left, right? If you care about over-policing and police brutality and mass incarceration and stuff like that, right? Also, Hakim mentioned uh, implicit bias against black people, right? There is implicit bias against men, okay? Landmark res research study finds clear evidence of pro-women anti-male bias, okay? The main finding was that no matter what the race, class, or sex of the participant making the ratings, there was a strong tendency to associate women with positive attributes and men with negative attributes, right? And the, the anti-male bias is stronger than the racial bias, okay? So, yeah, I have fairly illustrated that there is bias against men in the criminal justice system. So when is the left going to address this? When is the left going to say, look, we have to fight for men's rights Men are discriminated against, okay? Feminism is part of that discrimination. We need to address this, okay? We need to stop the man-hating. We need to stop all this talk about patriarchy and all that nonsense, right? We need to, we need to support men, okay? And again, the left has nothing to complain if they lose to the right if men are flocking to the right when you shit on men or when you ignore male issues right and when you are pro-feminism which discriminate against men openly discriminate against men i have over 190 videos showcasing how feminists uh, do this feminist organizations right like the national organization for women has for decades discriminated against fathers, right? When is the left gonna call this out? Especially the Marxists who are more, uh, who are more, who are better at analyzing systematic uh, issues, right? Like, wh when is this gonna happen? This analysis, right? So again, I hope that. There are some leftists who are seeing this video, and especially Hakim himself. Please, by the way, uh, send this video to Hakim or something, right? Or inform him of that, right? Okay. Leftists need to wake up. They need to be pro-male. Peace out.